As you can see right here, my mechanic gloves are starting to rip apart. I've had these for about a year now. So I stopped by Home Depot and picked up these Gorilla Gloves. These are now my favorite gloves. Uh, they fit pretty snug on my hands. Just like latex gloves, except they're really durable. And they're breathable, my hands won't sweat in these. I also got these firm grips for the more heavy duty work. It's just like cheese. Some uh, 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 steel wool to that. Oh yeah, I have um, I have steel wool, and I have. I w it won't be a problem to clean this. I just put this on today too. I should have measured the height on it. It went way too low right here. Oh yeah. Should have thought about that. Yeah, I was just hanging there. All right, guys. So as you saw right there, my keychain was hanging way too low, and it melted on the pipes. It's a shame because I think this was the original keychain. Okay, so today I'm going to do some soldering. This is my first time soldering. Pretty sure I'm gonna mess up. I bought this soldering tool from Amazon and it came with a lot of needles. This nose picker, solder, and this desoldering pump. I can do this for hours. If you remember the old bike right here, ignore this light. I crimped these old wires together and it worked pretty good. I had no issues with it, but this time I'll try soldering. I might move the tail light later on, but this is just for now. Three wires is all I need. I'll cut this right here to extend it. Now I need to strip these wires. I saw this in another video, if you mesh the wires together, it creates better conductivity. So that's what I'm doing right here. Okay, one down and two more to go. I set the temperature halfway. It gets hot pretty fast. And I'm going to wear this mask right here to not inhale the smoke. It's working pretty good. Okay, first try. Once again, I'm a beginner at this. Oh yeah, melt it baby. Get all in there. Wire number two. For some reason, it's pretty satisfying watching this solder melt. A lot of my friends have been watching those pimple popping videos lately, and it's not for me. That stuff is gross. Okay, let's clean this up. This came out pretty good. For this second part here, I created these helping hands out of a cardboard, and it works pretty good. I'm going to have to find some more soldering projects after this. This thing is pretty fun. Alright, this is how it turned out. Nice and solid. Let's plug this in and test it out. We have brake light, it works. This heat shrink tube right here was included with the roll of wires that I bought, but it looks too big for this wire. This heat shrink really isn't working. Maybe if I burn it a little bit more. Nope. 
Well, screw that. Electric tape to the rescue. Okay, well that's it for this video. In the next one, I'll give an update on my CL-175 bike. I'll see you then.